Good morning again from Yummy B T V. Sending loads of love as usual, out and about, as usual now. Get ready for next week. We'll be hitting a couple of big interviews uh, that you all have asked for. Um, the game is well and truly moving on now. Now, for the first time in, since I've been out, I am going to go and start answering fight matchups, right? I've, one reason now is because I'm cleaner, clean, and that I've got more clarity in my head when looking at people that I've seen fight with other people that I have not seen fight but watch tape of them fighting. So you asked me on the live the other day, I gave you a short answer. Um, today I give it to you in a bit more depth. Um, who would win, in my opinion, out of Lenny McLean versus Warren Slate, old Iron Fist himself. And yes, they still call him Iron Fist in jail, not just the outside. Right? Now, on um, early inspection and looking, then looking at it in depth, um, what I find with both of them too is they both got similar styles, right? Predominantly both brawlers, mate, right? The only difference is the weight category and class. I would say that Warren Slaney has a bad jab. In the 90s, up until the millennium, and way into his 40s, and that Slaney had never hit the deck, mate. His eye, his jaw is made of iron. So is Lenny's. But I hear that Lenny hit the canvas a couple of times, but then Lenny was fighting a lot more um, with probably known um, big fighters at that time as well. It's not like he was fighting anyone that wasn't a fighter, if you get what I mean, a lot of bare knuckle stuff as well. Um, I say Warren Slane is um, faster. My concern is if they were brawling together, I was thinking that Lenny, with that weight advantage, would hurt Warren. Warren, Slaney, if Lenny knows who he is, there's always a chance that he might hesitate. That could be enough for Warren Slaney to land one of those clinical, slippery, early bombs. And remember, every single person Warren Slaney has ever hit has wobbled. Fact. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have. And like he always used to say to me, Yami, you're blessed. And I said, what do you mean, well? He goes, your weight's going to stay, stay the same with the same body physique to the day you die. I said, what? Won't I get? He said, no, Yami. Your metabolism isn't like that. You've been training from young. He goes, I preferred it when I was fighting at my, at my weight, Slaney. Slaney, as far as I remember, preferred to fight at, um, like middle or middleweight, mate. He did. He was a 10 stone, 11 stone uh, man. He got his skin and he still kept his same power. You know what I mean? So the question of who would win out of those two, because of the weight difference in a brawl, right? I would say Lenny McLean. But if it was, because Lenny McLean couldn't be a middleweight, could he? But if he fought Warren a middleweight, he was not going to win. He wasn't, mate. He wasn't. At heavyweight, Warren's never been a heavyweight. So if we're talking both of them in their heyday, Remember, Slaney had a big A day, mate, with his fist. And in the cat A's, it's fair to say, everyone will tell you this. It's all right, people talking about this bit and that bit and all that. But Warren Slaney had more fights than everybody else put together. No one took as many fights on as he did. But Uncle Yummy has to be, you know, with the balance of scales and the balance of the likelihood. Um, eight out of ten, I'd give it to Lenny McLean winning more times than not. But way that Slaney is, you can never count him out on certain occasions, especially back in the day. So that's my verdict on that one. If you've got any more that you want to ask me, tell me. I will deliver fairly.